Hello, this is Gordon. I'm going to do another little video today on a little electric project. First, I'll take the camera off the tripod and show where I'm at over here at my pond in this little kitchenette area that I built from my pond. It's kind of occupied with a bunch of stuff right now because we're not doing any parties or barbecues or nothing, but I got a light switch out. The ceiling light is not coming on with the light switch and I didn't I just was starting to just fix it without video and I already pulled the plate off already checked the switch didn't uh, plan on doing a video and then I thought oh let me do a video on this real simple now I cheated I don't recommend anybody do this that doesn't have a lot of experience with electric but I cheated. But I, I saw the black wire right there, put a finger on the ground. But I'm not grounded. I'm standing on a, on a hardwood floor and I'm fully dressed. And I just took one thumb here on this ground and just tapped that. And I felt a little buzz there. So I knew the black wire is hot. And with the switch on, the white one isn't. The white one should be hot also. Well, the right way to test that, of course, is with a tester and we'll see if we can get this to show up on the video get that on we're on the AC voltage to the 600 side that means anything under 600 on AC will work I gotta put my glasses on and make sure that I'm on AC Yes, it is with the squiggly line. So, doesn't matter which probe goes where. I'm just going to stick with the switch on. We should get put one one probe on the ground and another one. This is so hard to do doing a video without three hands and that's what happens when you allow it to touch the ground and the hot at the same time So much for that video. I guess maybe I'll do a series of bloopers. Uh, light switch works now. I didn't even change it. All I did was short out the breaker, turn it back on, and and it's working. So, so much for that. But uh, let's see if I can get the tester on there anyway. Very, very carefully. Try not to touch the ground again. There's our 120 volts. I hope you can see that on the video. I don't know if you can, but you won't see it. Up here, it's zero until we turn the switch on. See, the light works now. That's how you test the switch if you want to use a tester, but of course I cheated and used my fingers. And I can't always do that. Sometimes I'm in a dangerous situation where I am sweaty or grounded or working around a lot of metal or something or water, and I'm not going to do it like that. But Well, that fixed the light switch. I'll just go ahead and tighten it down, and we'll leave a light switch over here. I brought a, a spare light switch over here but uh, we'll just leave it over here and we might need it in the near future I'm just not going to change it if it's working right now if it was at a customer's house I would change it but I don't do a lot of electric work for other people because I'm not a licensed electrician and I don't want any claims coming back to haunt me so
So, if we do a series on bloopers, this will be a good one for them. But look here, the lights are working. All right. Thanks for watching.